Hello everyone, this is Andre from SWL. This radio, the XH Data D219, took everyone by surprise when it was released in 2023. I selected this as my best budget radio of that year, and to this day, it remains the best budget radio I have ever seen. For around 10 US dollars, you get a radio with shortwave, FM, and medium wave that actually works. The performance on shortwave is really remarkable. You can catch very, very distant stations very, very clearly. So this radio has gone through a bit of an evolution since its release. It was initially released with 9K steps for medium wave, this one that you can see here. Then later a 10K step version for medium wave arrived in this color, the gray color, for the North American market. And then earlier this year, XH Data released different colors. They told me because the radio was so popular, they would like to give their customers something a little bit different, some new interesting colors. I got this green one for a review, very, very nice looking radio, and it also came out in a whitish color that you will see just now. Now, this version is only available in 9K steps for medium wave at the moment. But today, on the 22nd of October, XH Data released a version with 1K steps for medium wave. Now that means that this radio has really become a world radio. You don't need two versions if you are someone who travel a lot. Or if you live in North America for 10K steps, you can use the new 1K version. So I received a copy to review of this new 1K version. The box has not changed at all, as you can see here. There's not even any indication on this box that this is a 1K version, but it is. So on the side, you can see FM, AM, shortwave, 1 to 9, 11 band receiver, high sensitivity, and they're not lying. This really is a high sensitivity radio. Inside, it is also what we have gotten used to. Many people, including myself, have ordered <laughs> many versions of this radio, many copies. At some point, I had more than five of them. I gave some away in competitions and to friends. At the moment, I have three of them. I've got the very original version in this green version, and now the new 1K version. This one is in the white color. This now, I think, is the most beautiful radio in my collection. I really love the color. I love that this selection switch here for the bands is also in the white color. The tuning wheel here is white, the volume is black, so a nice differentiation between these two. So the only difference here is that now for medium wave, it's got 1K steps. I will show you in this video a quick demonstration. I'm going to compare my tuning on medium wave between the 9K version and then this 1K version. The difference is not huge. Uh, it seems to me as if it is a little bit easier now to actually isolate the signal that you are listening to. But the real difference comes in now for people who live in North America. This is your radio now. If you want to have one in these new colors, because they are not available in 10K steps yet, but now they will be available in 1K steps. So there's your solution. Now it will work in North America as well. For people who travel a lot between Europe and North America, for example, who want a little travel radio, there's your solution. You just need to get the 1K step version. And yeah, no issue now. You can listen to medium wave anywhere. You can see uh, w what is the difference that indicates that this one is a 1K version. The indication of the on the dial here for medium wave, it's from 520 to 1730 on the... 9k version that is 522 to 1620 so that is how you will know that you have a 1k version and obviously then it will work in north america as far as fm and shortwave goes it's exactly the same as before there are no differences there i will still show you i uh, will do a very quick maybe just one or two stations on shortwave as well just so that you can see that they are the same performance is still the same and then as i said first i will show you a quick tuning on medium wave so that you can see what's the difference now between the 1k step and the 9k step version
Well, the only way you can really confirm whether, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a legit infringement notice is to confirm it with the with RTIA or the RTMC. Now, RTMC um, is responsible for RTIA system, and the best advice I can give someone is to um, look on uh, www.r2.gov.za, which is sort of the official, I think, website of RTIA, and just confirm whether the infringement notice is an actual infringement notice and just not a scam. If I have to, and, and, and if I have to hazard a guess, it is unfortunately the times in which we live. If you have scammers that can phone, you know, elderly and all of that scamming um, elderly people out of pensions and uh, amounts, I'm going to assume that it's not just a government problem. It's, it's the fact that we live in a society where people, you know, think about how can we get money from unsuspecting um, victims. In, in a society, in the society we live in. So unfortunately, firstly, I have to say that it's really just the, the, the horribleness of, of being, a, you know, some human beings. And then secondly, it is for RTIA to, you know, publicly denounce any of these, um, you know, all of a sudden um, people claiming to, to be... in Frick. You're invited to join Apostle Peter Dufin, Pastor Dumitshi Iwa, and Evangelist Aaron Malikura as we take spring for Jesus. Come expectant of miracles, deliverance, worship, and transformation. Come be baptized. Sound the alarm. Tell your neighbor revival has come to your Anita <laughs> Mobile Center, Mamelo de Extension 5, Jubilee Shopping Mall, Easter Civic Center, Bronco Sprite Sports Center. Together, let's break the chains of addiction. This message is brought to you by the Gauteng Provincial Government, growing Gauteng together. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
This radio remains as good as it was when it was first released. I think anyone who enjoys just general radio listening, this is your radio. You can't get better for $10. If you enjoy DXing on shortwave and medium wave, this is your radio if you don't want to spend too much money. You can really pick up lots of stations with this very, very sensitive little receiver. And if you just want to have a radio somewhere stored away safely for an emergency, this is your radio. $10 is not much. Get one. Put it in a cabinet somewhere, know where it is, keep some batteries separate because the great thing is it works with AA batteries so you can always be ready with this one. Just have some batteries at the ready and whatever emergency comes your way, if you need some radio news, this will be the answer. I still highly recommend this radio as I did the original version for sensitive shortwave listening at a real budget price. There's nothing else that beats this. Andre the man from a land so wide 